if you need to change like the billing address, which is now called sub customers. And if you have the older version of, or a, a, a lower version or tiered version of QuickBooks Online, you don't wanna pay for the upper version because you think you can do fine with just sub customers, then you can use just the, the sub customer functionality here and you won't have access to the projects and you can run similar types of reports like we used to do with the old uh, job functionality. Now, we, we're not gonna go into a lot of detail in a job cost system here because that's a whole nother kind of specialty in and of itself. We'll just give some ideas of it. We have a no, whole nother course or section that talks about the differences between sub customers, uh, jobs and uh, and the projects. And we've got courses on a job cost system and the reports typically run related to that. Noting that a job cost system has its own issues if you have extended jobs, possibly having differences in revenue recognition principles because usually you recognize revenue at the end of the job. But if you're if you have a long job, then it might be justifiable to use like a percentage of completion method. That's a specialty field in, in and of itself. If you are a bookkeeper, you want to keep that in mind. You want to think, what industries do I want to be in? Do I want, it's nice to specialize in a job cost system because it's difficult. There's challenges to that. And, uh, and if you, a lot of other people can't do that. But, so the question is, do you want to take possibly some more difficult job jobs up and specialize in their, that area and bill more for them? Or possibly do you want to specialize elsewhere and not take on the job cost systems, possibly trying to take on more clients and automate them, be a specialist in that way and, and then automate your clients as best you can uh, and work that way. It depends on what your business model is. All right, so let's first set up a sub customer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend we're gonna set up a sub customer for the uh, Jones guitars here. So I'm gonna go back to the customers and do it do it up top. So I'm gonna say it's a new customer, and we're just gonna say this is. I'm just gonna give it a number for the job. I'm gonna say it's a job. It's gonna be a 3005 for the sub customer. That's gonna be the display name. So this setup is ex exactly the same as we had for just a normal uh, customer, but then I'm gonna go down here and say it's gonna be a sub customer. So now it's gonna be a sub customer. I need then a parent customer, and I'm gonna say the parent is gonna be Jones Guitars. So here we have that component where it says bill parent customer. So you can imagine in a law firm situation, you've got a high profile person, you've got, they're, they're getting in trouble all the time, and you've got multiple <laughs> jobs, maybe for that one person, right? So then, so, so then you might then have different billing addresses as well, uh, or you might bill that one person for the multiple jobs that we're gonna set up by number here, okay? That'd be the idea. So bill parent customer, and, and uh, I won't go into that. Let's go in, so there it is. Let's go ahead and say save it, and boom. And so it went into it here, so we're now in it. It looks basically like a, a normal customer, but now we're tracking in the sub-customer. If I go back to the customers, noting that everything's kind of internal, I don't have to use the back tab up here. It's kind of in the, the QuickBooks system. So if you find yourself going up here all the time to go back, it might work, but you probably it probably be more efficient if you use the internal functionality. All right, any case, we see the 3005 is now appearing down down here. So when Jones Guitars getting into, you know, what if, if it was a legal company and they're getting into trouble in a job cost system, I can then build the information to whatever particular problem that they're <laughs> that they're currently in, breaking it out uh, by by job. Let's do another one. Let's let's make let's make up one for Sam the guitar man. We're gonna hit the hit the new customer. I'm just gonna call the job 4002, and then scroll down and say it's gonna be a sub customer, and the parent customer is gonna be Sam, the guitar man. Oh, uh, what happened? Sam, the guitar K in the world paso. My Spanglish, Spanish English. K in the world paso. K paso. K in the world. Paso a key, a order. Let's save it. Sorry, I've been practicing. I don't get to practice a lot, so I have to do it while I work on the job. We're gonna go back to the customers here. 
And then if I scroll down, so now we have, of course, the sub customer for Sam the Guitar Man. Now, something to note here, I just want to point out that QuickBooks is, is trying to pull a lot of the small to mid-sized businesses from desktop, it looks like to me, to online, and, and then just have the desktop version for the advanced users uh, that are paying the enterprise version of the desktop. So it might be the case that more people are moving online. Something you got to be careful of then is that when you're looking at the, at the jobs, if you have a job system, it looks like this. It's going to roll in as sub-customers generally is the general idea. But if you're moving from desktop to online, then it might be the case that you want to move from the sub-customers to the, to the projects because that would be that, that might be like a level up or a reason to, to move into the online system. You might think that the projects is going to be a better tool to use. So you could have some conversions possibly between the uh, sub-customers and the jobs. So you want to make sure you do some research uh, on that conversion so that you do it as efficiently as possible. Don't just think that you're going to pull them in and then be able to use the projects if you have open jobs because you're going to want to make sure that you pull the jobs in to the, the projects. So you'll note up top here, it says we have this little item that says, do you organize sub-customers as projects? You can convert the first level of sub-customers into their own projects. So we're not talking sub-customers of sub-customers, the first level of sub-customers, and those would be the ones that have the same billing address because if we convert from the sub-customer to the project, then uh, then it's going to have to have the same billing address as the parent because now it's going to be the parent. Otherwise, otherwise you can't make a project of it because it has a separate address. And you, if that's the case, then that might be a reason why you still might use uh, the sub-customers so you can make a project that 